Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, so, so far what I've done is I've given you guys a couple techniques to factor um, by using either the diamond or the X method or the box method. Now, those methods are very um, good to use when kind of learning factoring and kind of to practice with it. However, factoring is just a technique we use to solve or to actually, you know, re, uh, rewrite an equation. But to use those methods all the time, especially when you have a large problem, can sometimes be cumbersome or a lot of extra work. So the next three examples I'm going to solve kind of quickly, all right? And I'm not going to go into much detail because the more and more and more you factor, the more and more you're going to get used to it and you're going to see the patterns, you're going to be able to do it quickly. And really the goal of factoring, well not the goal of factoring, but really the goal of when you're practicing factoring is to be able to do it in your head, to be able to take this equation in standard form and rewrite it in intercept form kind of like that. Um, so, so far what we've noticed is by using both techniques, we need to figure out what are the factors of negative 36 that multiply to negative 36, hence why we call them the factors, but then add to 9. Now to do these, I am just going to write out the general factors. I'm not going to be concerned with the negative because I know that a negative times a negative gives me a positive. So therefore, it can't, both factors can't both be negative. And a positive times a positive gives me a positive. So therefore, both my factors can't be positive. But one of the factors has to be negative. Um, I, in previous examples, I showed you, you know, which one was, I showed you the example of both being, or one being negative, then the other one being negative. For here, I'm just going to make this a little quicker. I'm going to say 36. Okay, so the factors of 36 are 36 times 1, 9 times 4, 18 times 2, um, and 3 times, 3 times 12. And I think I got all of them in there. So now, since this is negative, I know that one of these factors has to be negative. And then when it's not, what's also kind of helpful is I'll go through the kind of tips. Since one of them has to be negative, but they're going to add up to being a positive number. So that means the larger number is the one that has to be positive. So therefore, one of these, whichever the smaller number is, has to be the negative. So out of these factors, which ones adds, adds up to a positive 9? Well, that's going to be that, those two factors right there. So now I can just rewrite that as x minus 3 times x plus, four, or x plus 12. So therefore, you have the factor form. You set it equal to 0 to solve. Now apply 0 product property. Use your inverse of operations to solve. And there you go. That's not equal to 0. That's equal to 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve the technique. Thanks.